Hello everyone, Shane here, and welcome to another episode of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Loadout. Now, first things first, I just want to say I'm sorry that I did not upload Saturday. Didn't feel too well, but that's not really an excuse. So, let's get right into it. This is the Uzi. Now, this gun, in real life, is very famous. The Secret Service has used it. Special forces around the world, like CIA, spy groups, have used it before. And a lot, I think people, I think a lot of third world countries are still using this gun to this day. But this is the loadout. Monolithic suppressor. Operator foregrip. 13.1 first responder. Barrel. 50 round magazines. I used to do 40, but I'm going to try the 50s out, see how that goes. Strippled grip tape, and that's the loadout. So we're going to see how this does, and you got the 1911, not much to see there. These need to be changed around real quick. We'll do double time. I'll do ghost, this is what I usually do, I do ghost. And spotter. Spotter man! Wait, is this? Yeah, spotter is such a great perk. There's no other perk in perk 3 that I would rather use than spotter, to be honest. Gotta change these back to grenades, and I'm gonna run stems. All right, so we are in game. Now I know I know a lot of people don't like these iron sights, but I don't really mind them. Usually a dude. Yep. Man, this thing shreds. Got him. So funnily enough, I was very close to making a uh, ranting video not too long ago about Call of Duty and the gas grenade issue. Because of how, like right there, because of how annoying gas grenades are. And how there's literally no counter at all to them, and there needs to be. Or as far as I know, there's not a counter. If there is, let me know in the comments. So I've been having an issue with this thing lately where it just moves on its own. I don't know why it's doing that, but... We can get it. Oh, I don't know how I lived there. I couldn't get I couldn't get the iron sights on them, but for the most part, it's not too bad. I just love how an Odin out damages a fifty cal. Can we get out of here. Great.
Well, everyone, that's that. I didn't do so well, but this gun, if if you use it enough and you get used to it, because it, there is a learning curve to this gun. It's not the most simplest thing to use, but if you do get used to it, it's actually really, really good. I would recommend doing the smaller magazine option because it gives you more ADS speeds. Thank you for watching.